Clock Defense here. Today we want to start a uh, section on concealed carry. What do you do after you get this concealed carry permit? Now we teach concealed carry and most of concealed carry teaching for the permit is really classwork. It's teaching about laws, justifications, uh, how the firearms work, uh, ammunition, holsters, uh, legal ramifications of carrying concealed, what are your justifications, and so on. And then there's a little uh, questions, a little 25 question test that goes with it. So most of our time concealed carry class is taken up with lecture, uh, with some demonstrations, with uh, training guns, with the blue training guns, and things like that. What you don't get though in that concealed uh, training class is some practical shooting uh, drills, some practical shooting experience, and some real work with your handgun. That's what you don't get because the class in our state anyway, what we're uh, required to teach is eight hours and you just don't get, uh, we, don't, we don't have time to cover all that. So this is a, an attempt by us for our students to do some follow-up on uh, gun manipulation and gun handling. Now we're out here on the range today, and what we've got is uh, I'm wearing my vest to simulate, you know, concealed carry mode. Uh, I've got some magazines uh, here on my left side so we can show reloading and things. And I've got my gun right here, and this is a concealed type gun in an outside the waistband holster. What we want to talk about today is what do you do when you have a problem running this gun? So you pull back your cover garment, you find your, your, your pistol, you get a good grip on it, you pull it out, you rotate up, you get on the target and you fire, fire, fire. Now, what happens if you have a problem? This is assuming, of course, you're shooting a semi-automatic because there's a slide that is reciprocating back and forth, there's springs, there's a magazine that can do this, it can not be seated well, especially if it's loaded to the maximum and I just push it in there, you saw what happened right there. When I put it in my holster, because it's full, a full magazine, when I put it in my holster and shoved it, it looked like it was in, it stayed up there but it wasn't in all the way what does that happen what what does that mean when you're out when you're out shooting for your life or trying to protect somebody else it means that you're going to get maybe uh, one shot maybe no shots then you're going to have to do uh, some some manipulations to get this gun back in operation and what one of the things of course is tap tap the bottom uh, or if you're holding it tap tap the bottom of it. Now it's tight, it's not coming out. Okay. Now that happens because you've got a full magazine loaded right to the top. The slide is closed. Slide is closed and when you try to push that magazine in, that top round comes on the bottom of the slide and the bottom of the round is going to try to get compressed on the bottom of that slide. And if you don't give it a really good rat cap, on there and seat it really well, what you're doing is pushing it down against the spring uh, in the magazine. If you don't do that, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't load, all right? So that's the first thing. When you're loading it up, you know, make sure that you give it a good tap to make sure it's seated all the way in. You want this magazine seated. You don't want to be carrying it around with it just sort of stuck but not seated all the way because what happens is when you fire the gun, uh, it is nothing's going to happen, and you're going to be into trouble. Okay, so there's one thing right off the bat that that when it came out of my holster, it was not ready to go, and that's one of the problems that you might have too. All right, well, uh, we are not we're carrying the gun uh, without anything in the chamber. All right, nothing in the chamber. Here's another thing that you need to consider. If you're carrying the gun with the magazine in, fully loaded, 
and you put it in your holster and you're going to say to yourself, well, you know, I don't want to carry a loaded gun around. I'm a little new at this. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to carry a loaded gun. What's going to happen when you get confronted by the bad guys? You're going to pull your, your gun away or your, your coat away from your gun. You're going to pull that gun out and you're going to aim it and you're going to pull a trigger and what? Click or nothing. Nothing's going to happen because before you went out to carry this gun, you didn't rack around in. You're carrying an empty gun. And now with a bad guy coming down on you or a threat uh, coming down on you, now you've got to decide what to do. Well, now the only thing you can do, of course, is tap to make sure it's seated, rack around in. Now you're good to go. Now this gun will fire. Um, if I point it down at the bad guy, and I've taken one of my ears out here so I can hear myself talk, you take it, you point it down at the bad guy, and boom. Now it goes off. Okay. All right, let's holster now and talk about some other stuff. So initially, the thing you've got to be careful of is to make sure that you seat that magazine all the way in. The other thing is, you got to make sure you rack around in it because when you're in full-blown panic mode because you're being attacked, you, you may not have time or the forethought to pull that gun out and rack that slide back. All right, do that ahead of time. Get used to carrying it that way, okay? All right, let's talk about other things that could happen. Well, you could be carrying the gun and um, you could get in a pretty good sized firefight uh, or you could have a bad round that doesn't go off. You could have a bad round that doesn't go off and uh, maybe uh, you you know you've just got a bad round. I mean even the best manufacturers can have a, uh, a problem with their ammunition. Let's simulate that. Say you've got a magazine you think those are all loaded in there and you can see that magazine is uh, is full and uh, you know I've uh, let's put it back in the gun now now remember we fired one so there's one in the chamber right now so in the course of you having to defend yourself you have to sweep your garment away you go for your gun you pull it out you get one shot boom, and then you shoot again Click, 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 click. Oh crap, what happened? Oh my gosh, I don't, you know, something went wrong. The first shot went good, the magazine's full. Oh my gosh, the magazine's full. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what do I do, what do I do? Well, you got a round in here that didn't go off. So, of course, the best thing to do is make sure your magazine's seated. So when you get that click, click, nothing happens, tap the magazine, tap it, make sure it's seated come over the slide, rack that round out, and now back to shoot. Forgot to put my ear on. <laughs> and go back to shooting. Boom. Now you can shoot some more, of course, uh, because hopefully the rest of those rounds are going to run all right. But you had a bad round in there. Bad primer, maybe, or who knows? You know, it could have been anything. All right, so, but the way to get that out of there, of course, is to first tap it. Make sure it was seated right, then rack it, get that bad round out of there, and we ejected it, went out here somewhere in the grass. There's a couple of spent rounds right there. Yeah, we'll find that, we'll find that uh, dummy round. That was a, we used a snap cap in there uh, to simulate that. So, so far we've, we've simulated a couple of things here that you need to know. One when you loaded your gun to go out carrying, you failed uh, to rack the magazine in all the way. Then we had a malfunction where you weren't carrying anything because uh, you forgot to chamber a round. Then we had a malfunction where you had a round that didn't go off. And of course then we tapped it, racked it, and the rest of them shot, fortunately. We went back to action. All right, now. You know, you could have a gun that's got a uh, light primer strike, just bad primer, could have been anything. But those are the things we've covered so far that you need to be aware of when you're going out to carry every day.